Hiya, this is a second vid um, of the third lesson, and it's all about stationary points, which is really important. So a stationary point is where your gradient is zero. So if you look, my gradient is zero there. So dy by dx is zero. And that's at the bottom of the graph, so it's a minimum. Whereas here, dy by dx is zero. It's at the top of the graph, so it's a maximum. But we also have graphs like these, where it goes from like a positive gradient, it hits zero, and then it goes back to being a positive gradient. Or it's a negative gradient, then it hits zero, and then it's a negative gradient. And those are called points of inflection. And we'll talk more about them next year. In terms of a plan, differentiate it, solve it equal to zero to get the x coordinates. And then if it wants the coordinates, I need to sub them back into the original equation. Loads of people sub it into the gradient function and they get zero out and don't twig. Well, of course you've got zero out. That x value gives you a zero gradient. Right, so that's a bit of bummed for it. Let's have a go. So we want the coordinates of a stationary point. So first thing to do is differentiate it. So dy by dx is 2x minus 6. Here comes your statement that you must put in stationary when dy by dx is equal to 0. And then you must also put the equation equal to 0. On a mark scheme, they're a mark there. You get like a method you mark for that. So they must be done. They must be seen. And then I just kind of solve it. So 2x is 6. x is 3. Now it wants the coordinates. So I want to sub it into the original equation. So y is 3 squared, which is 9, minus 6 lots of 3, which is minus 18 seconds. is minus 9, plus 2. So y is minus 7. So my stationary point has the coordinates 3, comma, minus 7. That's quite nice, that. I like stationary points. Right, have a go at that one. Differentiate it. Do your stationary point for Yumi Bob. Set it equal to 0 and solve it. Gives you that. Now this one, oh, look at this. It gives you 2 because it was a cubic. What was it? Cubic, so you've got two of them. Whereas here, quadratic, you've got one of them there. So I've got two points there, so two coordinates. Nice. Um, oh, right, okay. So on the exam papers, you already get a random question somewhere in amongst your three papers that will give you how someone's done it and you have to try and find the errors. So let's have a look then. So it says a student was asked to find the stationary point and find the range of values that it's increasing for. So let's have a look then. So how I differentiated right. So 3x squared minus 6x minus 9. So that's okay. Uh, now, technically, uh, funny one, they've used f of x. So really, we should have done f dashed of x. I'd be intrigued if you lost a mark for that, to be honest. Uh, so really, I wonder if having f dashed of x would be better. There. So, yeah, I mean, it's a difference, isn't it? But we should maybe not use it. Right, now then. The next one's interesting. That's x is 3 and x is minus 1. In the completed pack, they've pulled up the point that they've not got the coordinate. It doesn't say coordinate here, though, does it? So that's a bit of, mm, I'm intrigued with that one. Because potentially, if it didn't say you find the coordinates of the stationary points, then do you need to find the coordinates of the stationary points? So I'm intrigued with this answer if I undercover this here. So that one we're I'm okay with. I'm happy with that one. Shouldn't lose any marks. But only found the x-coordinates. Doesn't tell you. It doesn't say find the coordinates. So I'd be intrigued with that. Um, so what else then? So what else is wrong with it then? So they've got, yep, no sketch of the curve. And if you look what they've done, they've got, oh, hello, oh no, my board's not working. Oh, here we go, board's working again. 
they've got it as a joined one, so they've used this part in the middle. But without the sketch, you're just guessing. So the sketch is really, really important. That was mega, mega important, that sketch. And then you've got the answers where it's um, the two outside bits. <laughs> what are we on now? I'm going to stop this one, actually. <laughs>